before I start with today's video, make sure you guys get on that drip grip sole protector, guys. Like I said, I wore these at the sneaker culture event all weekend, and look at it. It looks still good to go. These all day, walking through the event, and yeah, and it's still clean, and it's still good to go. I was walking on, walking on turf, and yeah, no cuts, no slippage, no anything. So make sure you guys get on that drip grip. Uh, use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. Save a little bit of money for these soap protectors here. The best soap protectors on the market today. Unboxing here and first of all I just want to give a big shout out to my guy Mason over at DG uh, Reserves over at Asheville North Carolina I was at the grand opening when they first opened I need to find I need to come back to the store and chop it up with them and, and all that good stuff man for reals I, I will make it back to Asheville North Carolina man for reals uh, shout out to everyone there and shout out to Mason too as well anyways got an early unboxing so this here I did have an early pair before, but now I had to get a personal pair because I was afraid that I wasn't getting any W's, but yeah, but it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, let's open this up real quick. As you guys can see, voila, this is going to be the big hype sneaker of next week or this coming up week are the fours and you. Oh yeah. Now, early pairs were going out crazy amount of money. I think early pairs were going for like, uh, I saw prices like six, seven hundred. I, I see prices now, they're dropping down now. And but anyways, I wanted to get an early pair because I was afraid how this release was gonna be because you know, past few releases, it hasn't been too good, but this release actually looks pretty better. So seen on the finish line, they did do a finish line at raffle finally. And I saw a lot of people take W. So shout out to everyone that did take W's. I end up gotten a W too as well. And also my sister, she got a W. So that's pretty lit. And the whole issue with the whole finish line app, but uh, I was talking about is the extra entry. Is it very necessary? Cause I was talking to the homies uh, on their live uh, tops and divinage. And I told him like, look, it's all luck. I mean, yes, it could better your chances, but that's for sure. I feel like that's probably why I got W, but like I said, my sister, she didn't put any extra entries and she won. So you see what I'm saying? Curious for everyone here, if they got Ws, I saw a lot of people that did put extra entries and they still took Ls. But I wonder if, if some of the people that here, anyone here, if they got Ws without extra entries, please put down the comments below. I'm kind of curious to see between versus extra entries or non. So like I said, it's finish line. It's all about luck. It's not like how it is with the Flex app where it has a like a loyalty lifetime, uh, you know, type of deal where if you have a large amount of lifetime points, you're most likely to get a W. So, but anyways, this here, UNC Forest, this is probably one of the best shoes that came out so far this year. The hype level on these things are on another level. And I definitely see why this shoe is, is a beautiful shoe, it really is. These things will be a problem coming up this uh, Wednesday. I'm pretty sure online is gonna be a mess. It's gonna get bought it out. Uh, some people will end up taking L's. It just kind of how it is guys. And you'll see some people cook too as well. But I feel like there was a lot more W's this time around compared to past few releases just because I feel like 
Maybe the shipping delays is kind of fixed, or not like fixed, but like it, it got better with this release because remember, these did get delayed or pushed back. These were supposed to come out sometime in March, then they got pushed back now late April. So that's what they, I think Nike, man, that's what they need to start doing. Push releases back. If it's not ready, it's okay. We can wait, you know, as long as we can all have a fair chance of getting these things. Like push everything back, especially with these damn Jordan 1s. Look, with the Hyper Royals, the way how it's going right now, that release was such a, oh my goodness, I, it is what it is, you know, uh, but we're going to get another release on that, I made a few videos about that, but, but these things here, we'll see, I'm not sure we'll get a big restock if, or if they'll go back on the app, because I think, all, like I said, the shipments and all that, I think it's all in stores, or some of them, most of it's on in stores, you might get some delays here and there, but Hey man, I'm very excited for this. And I'm glad, it's, you know, I'm happy I've still got an early pair. So this will probably end up being like my personal, uh, the one I pick up on Wednesday will probably be like my double up. So you gotta, you just can't go wrong with these, man. Like for reals, this is such a clean freaking shoe. It, it's such an amazing shoe, shoe. I, I can't even front. Like it's so, like, but seriously, man, this is such a great looking shoe and I love the colorway and just the materials on it, man. Just that nappy suede on it is just so nice. Everything about the shoe is so nice. But hey, stay tuned. We'll have a mall vlog and everything. So uh, I got to pick these up on Wednesday because I got a W on finish line. And more videos, more content to come so, coming this week. And what else is coming out? I think the 13s is also coming out too as well. The Red Flint 13s coming out this weekend. So kind of excited for that because 13s is my favorite uh, silhouette. And I'm curious to see how these uh, Flint 13s look like, man. They look cool. I've seen them in person, so I mean, we'll see. I like the colorway, so. Oh yeah, and uh, don't forget that I will also be in Atlanta for the Lant uh, sneaker exit in Atlanta. This coming up Sunday, uh, April 25th. Uh, it's gonna be a, a pretty good event. I was at the, not the last one, the one before that. It was pretty, it was pretty nice. And then I'm gonna be going to, on May 23rd and 24th, it's gonna be SneakerCon. And I'm super excited for that. SneakerCon's coming back. I gotta go to the show. Gotta go to, back to the SneakerCon, back in Texas and Dallas. Uh, last time I was in Dallas, show mad love. So thank you guys so, so much, everyone in Texas. And then after that, the weekend after that, is gonna be Joe's at Kicks For Your Soul in Orlando on May 29th. And then May 30th, the next day, I'm gonna fly to Orlando to Indy for uh, the sneaker culture. It's just, whew, it's gonna be busy. It's gonna be busy, busy, busy. But hey, it's a grind, it's all good. And you know, I love it. Just, you know, good to see people and have, try to have a good time, especially with these events, guys. So, hey. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much in other video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on my social media at german chris on ig sometimes i'm on twitter and don't forget snapchat anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm german chris peace